be an introduction to God. Mitzvah, instructions. 9. Shalom, satisfied, restored, at peace, and content. Torah is the descriptive name of the books written on Yahweh's behalf by Moses. It is, therefore, a title. As such, most of the 219 times Torah appears in the Torah, Nabi, Wamizmor, teachings, prophets, and songs, it should be transliterated replicating the sound of the name as accurately as possible. In addition, because Torah is also used as a descriptive noun, the word should also be translated so that readers come to appreciate the fact that Torah means, teaching, instruction, guidance, and direction. Up to this point in this introduction to God, we have naturally focused on what Yahweh says about his Torah within his Torah. But that is just the beginning. We are now set to explore what the prophets revealed about the Torah, beginning with the martial, word pictures known as the Proverbs and then followed by the insights contained within the Mizmor, songs commonly called Psalms. While we know that Daud, David wrote most of the Psalms, it is also apparent that he wrote the Proverbs because he is the Ben, son addressed throughout these family portraits. And while Daud, David is recognized as the king of Israel and its most acclaimed songwriter, his other accolades are suppressed to promote religious agendas. In addition to Melech, king, these include the fact that Daud, David was and is the Mashiach, Messiah, the Ben Elohim, son of God, the Ra, shepherd of God's 544 flock, the Zmak, branch from which we grow, and a Nabi, prophet of the first order. With this in mind, let's consider one of Daud's martial, word pictures on the importance of his father's Torah, teaching. With his father guiding his son, it begins, My son, then any, do not ignore, overlook, or forget, al Shaker. Do not lose sight of the significance of or leave, fail to mention, become oblivious to, or cease being mindful of, cal imperfect Joseph, my Torah, teaching and guidance, Torah any, my instructions and directions, scribed in the first person singular, my, such that the speaker is Yahweh. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3 to 1. This was conveyed in first person, as God to his children, because only he can claim the Torah as his own. And since it contains the very same advice Yahweh consistently provides to human fathers regarding their children, God is once again following his own advice. Further, because Yahweh only addresses one individual as his son and firstborn, God is speaking to Daud, David. And it is he who is recording Yahweh's advice on our behalf. Therefore, since we have identified the speaker and his child, we know that this was written for every member of Yahweh's covenant family. Further, it affirms that the Torah is the one place we can trust to find what our Heavenly Father is offering to us and expects from us. And it is by following this advice that Tao became Zadak, right with God and thus vindicated. Inexplicably, for the better part of 3,500 years, mankind has rejected God's counsel and has chosen to al Shaker, ignore, overlook, and forget the Torah, teaching of Yahweh, becoming oblivious to it. The world as we know it is the result. Rampant with sexual 545 abuse and pedophilia, misogyny and murder, self-serving politicians and deceived conspiratorialists, money-grubbing rabbis and egotistical pastors, anti-Semitism and terrorism, our planet is plagued with human malfeasance. Mankind has lost sight of the significance of, and has responded inappropriately to, the lone source of guidance capable of curing what ails our planet. And, wa, maintain and observe, nazar, keep and comply with so as to preserve from harm, Kalim Perfect Yusuf, my mitzvah, the instructive conditions regarding what I am offering and expect in return, mitzvah any, the authoritative directions and written instructions which comprise the precepts and terms of what I have established, from my, to consider the who, what, why, where, when, and how of what I have zawa, appointed and constituted, enjoining the message by shouting out the instructions and directions. In your heart to influence your thinking and inclinations, Lab Otter, your source of life and inner nature, your character and emotions, your capacity to love and to choose, in addition to making sound decisions and exercising good judgment. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3 to 1. Literally, these three Hebrew words read, and instructions of me he shall choose to preserve heart of you. Since both Torah and Mitzwa are feminine nouns, and since Mitzwa is plural, the third person masculine singular pronoun he prefixed to Nazar, preserve and protect must be directed at the role Yahweh plays in influencing our lab thinking. Also be aware, both al Shaker, never ignore nor forget and Nazar, maintain and observe are scribed in the Kalim perfect Joseph. This is important because the combination of these tenses affirms that both statements speak of consistent behavior which is subject to the exercise of free will. Once chosen, these are decisions from which we are never to waver. Further, this advice is to be 546 interpreted literally rather than symbolically or metaphorically. 
Also, this threefold conjugation tells us that our choices regarding these instructions will have enduring consequences should we be receptive and steadfast in our response to God's counsel. Before we move on to the next statement, let's compare what Yahweh inspired Daud to write with what English Bibles have published. God said, My son, Ben Eni, do not ignore, overlook, or forget, ceasing to be mindful of, Al Shaker, my Torah, teaching and guidance, Torah Eni. And, Wa, maintain and observe, Nazar, my Mitzwah, the instructive conditions regarding what I am offering and expect in return, Mitzwah Eni, in your heart to influence your thinking and inclinations, Lay Botta. Bible translators seem to suffer from amnesia and render Torah, which they no means teaching, as law when their religious sentiments dictate. Also incriminating, while mitzvah is commonly defined as commandments in religious publications, as a compound of my, to question the implications of zawa, instructions and directions, translating it as such is as misguided as rendering Torah as law. Oblivious to the connection between the Torah's, directions and the mitzvah as a specific list of instructions, the New American Standard Bible convoluted our father's advice, my son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. Proverbs 3 1, there is no contrast here between one thing and the other but, instead, an affirmation, with the second line reinforcing the first. These thoughts are parallel, rendering the word but ridiculous. What's particularly troubling about all of this is that, in Yasha, Joshua 24-26, the editors of the Nays rendered Torah as the law, with a lowercase l, 547 implying that it was a translation of Torah, as opposed to the name that God, himself, selected to entitle his instructions. But now, when the same word appears under the guise of our Heavenly Father's advice to his children, Torah was rendered as my teaching. Inconsistencies like this are contemptible. Further, the rendering of mitzvah's commandments in this statement is counter to the implications of the volitional verb which makes our response subject to free will. It is considerably more appropriate to encourage one's son to make an informed and moral choice rather than to impose a dictatorial command. As we have learned, there is more to Al Shaker than do not forget, which is why amplification is so essential to our understanding. In this case, it's not just that people have forgotten the Torah, but rather that they have chosen to overlook, ignore, insufficiently value, and inappropriately respond to Yahweh's guidance. Most fail to mention it and have become oblivious to it, having lost sight of its significance. Having failed in our responsibility to mention it, the preponderance of people have walked away from God and do not even know that they have left Him. Similarly, while Nazar can be translated as keep, that rendering is misleading. It only means keep in the sense of being vigilant, and observant, keeping your eyes open and focused so that you are kept safe and secure. That is why it is also defined as to preserve and protect, to spare and restore, and even to save. An equally acceptable rendering is branch, which is symbolic of Daud, and shoot or stem which is evocative of the Chota. These are all superior renderings to keep and add considerable depth to God's instruction. Further, keep by itself infers obedience, and we are not being told to obey our Father. 548 The King James Version is quite similar, mistranslating Torah all 219 times the title appears. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Proverbs 3 1. In a brazen obfuscation of God's word, the evangelical authors of the New Living Translation replaced my Torah with the things I have taught you. Being politically correct, and scripturally incorrect, they authored, My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. Had they written never forget my Torah, or even never forget my law, they would have undermined Pauline doctrine, the sacred cow of Christian theology. So, these Christian scholars knowingly and willingly altered Yahweh's testimony to protect their patron saint. The realization that the publishers of the JPS Tanakh recognized, that Torah can be correctly translated as teaching and yet render it as law elsewhere is inexcusable and condemnable. My son, forget not my teaching, but let thy heart keep my commandments. They should also have been aware of the parallel nature of Hebrew poetry and noticed that Torah and Manitswa are not contrasting concepts, negating the use of but. We have mentioned this previously, but it bears repeating. In Hebrew, the lab, heart was symbolic of thinking, not feeling. It was a person's seat of judgment, where sound decisions are made and character forged. In Hebrew, the liver was the organ associated with emotions. Yahweh's next statement is actually a consequence of his initial advice. Indeed, for, KY, it is verifiable and true, longer days, auric yaumim, increased time, and years of life, washan archaim, a transformation in living and vigorous renewal, they will increase for you, Yazifla 549 atta, they will add so that you gain a continuance of time which is prolonged, hyphal imperfect, in addition to, wa, contentment and satisfaction, shalam, 
completeness and prosperity, friendship and companionship, blessings and health, peace, favor, well-being, reconciliation, and salvation. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3-2. Once again, we find that the Shinar Chaim, the elongation of our lives, their transformation, and renewal are direct derivatives of our focus on the Torah, just as are our contentment and satisfaction, reconciliation and companionship. Shalam can be translated as peace, but by doing so one ignores the richness of its meaning. It is equally appropriate to render Shalam reconciliation or salvation, completeness or prosperity, welfare or soundness, favor or friendship, and especially as satisfaction and contentment. Shalam is all about keeping us safe, and out of harm's way. It speaks about providing for our every need. But more than anything else, Shalam is a relational concept. It is most at home when it describes reconciling relationships by resolving the disputes between the parties. Shalam depicts perfect peace between man and God, total harmony within his family, and complete restoration of the covenant relationship. Yazef was written in the Haifel stem and imperfect conjugation, telling us that the ongoing and never-ending result of properly viewing the Torah, will be that its guidance will foster continuous Shalam, satisfaction and contentment. Before we consider alternative translations, be aware that the only way any of us will experience Auric Yamim, longer days is to have our Chaim, lives Shinar, transformed such that we perceive the world as light, becoming energy rather than matter. Therefore, this seems 550 to suggest that this is how Yahweh intends to make us immortal while removing the darkness from our lives, adopting us so that we become ever more like Him, enriching, empowering, and enlightening our lives in the process. And these benefits, not so coincidentally, are precisely what Yahweh is offering through the Mikrei on behalf of the Barith. Here, the King James Version, the New American Standard Bible, and the New Living Translation selected the secondary definition of Shinar, which is years, rather than renewal, and then ignored the fact that Chaim, lives was plural. The KJV printed, for length of days, and long life, and peace, shall they add to thee. In the Nays we find, for length of days and years of life, and peace they will add to you. While the NLT wrote, if you do this, you will live many years, and your life will be satisfying. And in the JPS we find, for length of days and years of life, and peace, will they add to thee. In his Torah and Prophets, Yahweh stresses the importance of searching for the truth and of rejecting lies. Doing so enables us to form a loving relationship with him. So here, in this word picture on the importance of the Torah, we read, Loyal love and genuine mercy, Kesed, unfailing kindness and affection, steadfast devotion and a passion for the relationship, in conjunction with, Wa, being honest, demonstrating integrity, and being reliable, Emeth, being confident, certain, and sure, trustworthy and dependable, do not allow to depart from you, al azabota you should not abandon or forsake, Kal imperfect Joseph. Choose to fasten them, Kashahem, closely associate with them, wearing them of your own volition, Kal imperative, upon your necks, al gargroth otter, on your throat. 551 Choose to inscribe them, Katabhem, write them, Kal imperative, upon the tablet, al luvak on the impervious surface used for chiseling a message, of your heart to influence your thinking and judgment, lay botter. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3-3. God wants us to become as much like Him as possible. So, since Yahweh is loyal, loving, and merciful, and steadfastly devoted to the relationship, we will be more comfortable in His presence if we model similar thoughts. More than anything, Yahweh is honest and reliable, trustworthy and dependable. And in that He manifests and recommends these admirable attributes, we would be wise to reflect them. Since Yahweh is the most proficient communicator in the universe, we are wise to both literally and symbolically interpret his words. On some occasions, we can do both, while on others only one of these two options is available to us. And while this should be obvious, religious Jews seem to be helplessly confused. They have managed to ascertain that our hearts are not comprised of stone and that we ought not cut our chests open and chisel this message upon them. Similarly, they do not tie nooses around their throats to bind their vocal cords. So why do they tie little black boxes on their biceps and foreheads? It does not take a genius to figure out that God wants his words to guide our perceptions, our actions, our words, and our decisions. Recognizing that the heart was considered the seat of judgment where informed, rational, and moral decisions were made, Yahweh wants us to perceive the merits of choosing to be Kesed and Emeth, loving and reliable. Unless we are both, we do not belong in the covenant, and we are of no value to Yah. In one of the most important revelations found anywhere within the prophets, in Yermiah, Jeremiah 31, 552 God tells us that, upon his return, he will renew his covenant by integrating his Torah, guidance into our very nature, making it part of the fabric of our lives, even writing it on our hearts.
As we are transformed from three dimensions to seven, reflecting his light, we will need these Torah, directions to navigate the universe. This is an affirmation that Yahweh reciprocates. Then, wa, you will discover and obtain, Masa, you will find and experience, encounter and enjoy, Kal imperative, mercy and acceptance, Chen, compassion and kindness, the benefit of unearned and undeserved favor, in addition to, wa, good judgment, useful understanding, productive insights, and the capacity for intelligent thinking, Sekel Tobe, value comprehension, agreeable conclusions, pleasing wisdom, valid discretion, generous prudence, accurate interpretations, viable explanations, verifiable information, and the good sense to be discerning along with the ability to endure scrutiny beautifully, in the eyes, bar ein, from the perspective of Almighty God, Elohim, and mankind, wa Adam. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3-4 to or as the Romans, Roman Catholics, and Christians would say, you will receive grace. Their misnomer is from gratia, derived from the naked trinity of goddesses of frivolity and good cheer. They were the Latin incarnation of the Greek charis, charities. And it is from their name that the Christian concept of grace is derived. I'm sure it makes Father Zeus proud. As an interesting aside, of the seventy times Yahweh included Chen, mercy and acceptance in his word, the authors of the King James Version demonstrated on thirty-eight of those occurrences that they were using the Roman Catholic Latin Vulgate as their source. They did so by transliterating the Latin gratia as grace rather than the 553 Hebrew Chen as mercy. The benefit, of course, is that by doing so the credibility of those who promote the King James Version as if it were authorized and inspired by God is destroyed. Most men and women are desirous of receiving God's mercy, believing that his favor is enough to save them. But it is not. Our adoption into God's family requires a lot more of us than the desire to be saved. We must know what God is asking of those interested in being part of his covenant and then accept his conditions for participation. And we must come to appreciate the value of his mikre sufficiently to answer his invitations. And this is why, to my mind, Yahweh's promise to provide those who seek him with Sekel Tob is the more desirable offer. We can use Sekel Tob to obtain Yahweh's mercy, even enjoy his love, and what's more, with it, we can bring others along with us. With Tob modifying Sekel, God is equipping us to exercise good judgment and deduce productive insights which lead to understanding, recognizing that nothing is more beneficial or useful in this world. With Sekel Tob, we have the capacity for intelligent thinking and can use it to provide accurate interpretations and viable explanations. Our reasoned conclusions can be scrutinized and verified such that they are proven valid. By acquiring the ability to be circumspect, discriminating, and discerning, we can validate the evidence and determine what is true or false, right or wrong. We can observe the Torah and comprehend its meaning. We can survey the Barith and ascertain its conditions. We can study the Mikre and properly perceive what each day represents and then decide how to capitalize upon them. Mose and Daud epitomize Sekel Tob, which is likely why Yahweh chose them and worked so effectively 554 through them. God's prophets were likewise very wise, intelligent, and articulate individuals. In the shadow of gaining insights leading to understanding, it is important to ascertain whether we massa, discover and obtain Sekel Tob, good judgment leading to understanding and Chen, God's affection and mercy by being mindful of the Torah, by observing the mitzvah, and being steadfastly devoted to the relationship, or whether we receive them passively as a gift from God. The answer in this case is provided by the stem and the mood associated with Massa which was scribed in the Kal imperative. With the Cal stem, there is no indication that Yahweh is influencing us in a way which would provide these results. Further, scribed in the imperative mood, this is our choice, and thus the receipt of these benefits is a result of our decision to observe the Torah and love its author. Further, by developing the capacity to love and to learn, we are perceived favorably by God and man. This suggests that Yahweh is appreciative of what we are achieving as a result of prioritizing his Torah, and remaining trustworthy and true in sharing it. This known, however, since the insights are drawn from Yahweh's Torah, teaching, God is not only making it possible for us to know him, and for us to become lovable in his eyes, the understanding which results is hardly our own. All we are bringing to this equation is an honest effort. Those who carefully observe the Torah's guidance come to choose to be confident in and trust, relying upon, beta chel, be sure of, confide in, and depend upon, cal imperative, under the auspices of free will, choose to actually, literally, and genuinely trust, Yahweh, Yahweh written as directed by his Torah, teaching, with all your heart and your every decision, Bar Sherl Lab 555 Atar, with the full capacity of your thinking and in your most comprehensive judgment. And, Wa, do not lean, Al San, do not rest, settle, depend, or rely, upon, L, your understanding or discretion, Bina Otter, your wisdom and insights. 
Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3-5. By infusing his revelations with prophetic pronouncements, Yahweh has not only demonstrated that we can trust him, but also that we can rely upon his testimony. The more we know, the more confident we become. Further, so long as our understanding of God and our world are derived from Yahweh's Torah, we are properly positioned to engage in the covenant and capitalize upon his invitations. But the moment we start believing political, religious, patriotic, or conspiratorial propaganda, we are in serious trouble. Garbage in, garbage out. In context, this statement is particularly troublesome to Christians, religious Jews, and Muslims. In spite of the obvious contradictions pervasive in their faiths, particularly when compared to the Torah, they continue to believe, sweeping God's indictments under the rug with a callous, that isn't what it means to me. But, according to Yahweh, relying upon personal opinions is counterproductive. The principal choice which underlies the whole of the Torah and its covenant relationship is this, are you going to trust God or man, Yahweh or yourself? Those who improperly value the Torah almost universally choose to rely upon themselves, religion, or politics, while some fall for conspiracy theories. Also, please note, the path to God is through betach, trust and reliance. And this comes from Tob Sekel, 556 Proper and Beneficial Understanding. God cannot be found through faith or belief. To be associated with God, you must first come to know God. And that cannot be achieved without observing the Torah. Therefore, in, va, all, shirl, your ways, Derek Otter, your paths and journeys through life, you should choose to know, genuinely acknowledge, and actually understand him, Yada Hugh, you should elect to become aware of and recognize him, Tal Imperative. Then, he, Wa Hugh, himself, will consider your conduct to be right, or a Yashar Otter, he will cause your journey and path through life, even your destiny in life, to be right, straightforward, on the level, and in full compliance with his standard. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3-6. For us to be Yashar, considered right with God, we must come to Yada Hugh, know him, understand him, and acknowledge him. This means that the aura, way to Yahweh is through words observed with our eyes, heard with our ears, and processed in our minds. There is no reason to believe when we can know. And there is no excuse for not knowing when the evidence is in writing, widely available, accurately translated, clearly explained, and proven valid through prophecy. The path to God is not through religion, good deeds, prayer, a good heart, charity, being kosher, evangelism, church membership, or jihad. The door to heaven is opened with Yada Yahweh. Hebrew offers a number of words to convey the related concepts of knowing and understanding. Yada is the most relational of them. To Yada Yahweh is to know God personally, to recognize Him and acknowledge Him. To 557 Yada Yahweh is to appreciate what God is offering and expects in return. In this statement, Yada, knowing is actionable as a verb. It was written using the Cal stem which affirms that, within the context of the relationship, our knowledge must be real, our understanding must be accurate and literal, and our acceptance must be genuine. There is no room for illusions or delusions here. In addition, Yada was scribed in the imperative mood. This conveys an instruction we are encouraged to accept of our own volition. Unlike religion, there is no compulsion with God. We choose to associate with Him of our own accord. When we turn our attention to Yashar, considered right, straightforward, on the level, and in full compliance with his standard, we can't help but notice that, while we are at liberty to accept or decline the opportunity to Yada Yahweh, there is an acceptable standard and correct way to advance in the right direction. We are, therefore, free to walk to him along the path provided by the Mikre, but we are not provided options on the path. There is only one correct way to God. We can journey to him along it, walk in a different direction, or allow ourselves to be crippled by religion, but we cannot alter the course Yahweh has set. Our opinions in this regard, and even the collective beliefs of many, do not matter. Yashar was presented using the peel stem and imperfect conjugation. The peel stem, as the voice of relationships, tells us that it is Yahweh's influence upon us which makes us appear perfect. While the imperfect conjugation acknowledges that we are consistently seen as correct, even that there will be unfolding and ongoing benefits of God continuing to consider our conduct to be compliant with his Torah, instructions. Thus far, this marshal, word pictures has been presented as, if you follow my advice as it is found in the 558 Torah then you can rely on all of its promises. Reinforcing the fact that Yahweh's favorable view of his children is not based upon what they know but upon whom they rely, we read, you should not become, al you should not make a habit of your option to being, kal imperfect jussive, learned and wise, especially cunning, clever, and shrewd, charkam, a sage or diviner, someone who is pious and imparts information or instruction, 
from your own perspective, bar and otter, in your own eyes. Choose to actually respect, yeah eth, demonstrate a high regard for, honoring and admiring, even revering, Cal imperative, Yahawa, Yahawa, God's name transliterated as guided by his Torah, instructions on his higher, existence. And, wa, you should choose to turn away from, so men, under the auspices of free will, decide to remove yourself from, turn aside and withdraw from, Cal imperative, of your own accord, actually, genuinely, literally, and relationally refuse and remove, that which is improper, immoral, corrupting, and wrong, ra, that which is adversarial and afflicting, inferior and injurious, of no value and contemptible, annoying and objectionable, displeasing and harmful, incorrect and invalid, bad to the extent of being evil, troubling and disadvantageous, vexing and malignant, common among neighbors, loud-mouthed fellow citizens hyping their message, comrades, and those with whom you associate and whose voice is shrill. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3-7. Yahweh's advice to his son, Daud, and thus to all of his children, is first and foremost, be mindful of his Torah, guidance. He wants us to observe and accept his mitzvah, comprising the instructive conditions of his covenant so that they are incorporated into our lives. He told us that doing so would bring the contentment and 559 satisfaction that our lives would otherwise lack, leading to our reconciliation. As God's children, we are encouraged to become steadfast in our devotion to the relationship, demonstrating a sense of integrity, and being both honest and trustworthy. When our decisions and speech are influenced by the truth, and it affects our thinking and judgment, God reciprocates, favoring us in return. This is the path to intelligent thinking, useful insights, and understanding, all of which are pleasing from God's perspective. It also affords us a degree of confidence which is appealing in the eyes of men. Given the opportunity to rely upon the Torah, instructions he has provided, Yahweh asks his children to avoid leaning upon our own understanding. Instead, we benefit when we choose to know and acknowledge him, because by so doing, we become right with God. Then, re-emphasizing the fact that the source of our information matters, Yahweh tells Daud, perhaps the brightest man who ever lived, to avoid being cunning, clever, or shrewd and acting as if he were a sage. God wants us to view him and the world around us, even ourselves, from his perspective rather than that of human societies, institutions, and civilizations. And it is ultimately our attitude toward Yahweh and his Torah which determines whether we are right or wrong. Charkham speaks not just of wisdom but of those who, under the guise of religion, politics, or academia, convey information which is humanly derived. This is something from which he is asking us to disassociate. Elucidating us further in conjunction with avoiding the clever and conniving, so, to reject was offered in the Cal imperative, providing us with the opportunity to make an important distinction between the ways of man and God. Ra is synonymous with religion. It describes institutional, not individual, impropriety. Every amplified 560 definition provided within the translation applies, making Ra the corrupting and contemptible voice of the most outspoken Israelis, which are the rabbis. They are being portrayed as immoral, incorrect, and injurious. In a word, the religious are wrong. The rabbinic message is objectionable to God and disadvantageous to the people. Moreover, the sages are an internal malignancy, afflicting the people as members of the community. In this regard, Ra is not only the Hebrew word to describe widespread and pervasive evil, it means neighbor, fellow countryman, loudmouthed, and shrill. Of all of the adversaries Israel has endured, none have been as debilitating and vexing as the rabbis. Speaking of the religious, clerics are motivated to translate Yair as fear because they have sought to establish themselves and their institutions as the means to avoid God's wrath. Fear is an exceptionally effective, albeit sinister, means of controlling and manipulating the masses. However, rendering Yair as fear never works in the context of God being our Heavenly Father, which is his role in this martial, proverb. The concept being presented here is that, rather than think we have all of the answers, we should yeah, demonstrate a high regard for, respect, and even admire Yahweh and his answers as they are provided in his Torah, teaching. According to our Heavenly Father, if we distance ourselves from the influence of man, this will exist as, higher, this decision regarding your existence will have a genuine, and ongoing influence on, cal imperfect jussive, healing and restorative, rivulth, invigorating and curative, serving as your umbilical cord, la shore otter, your life-sustaining connection as a child to your mother, nourishing and refreshing, wa shikwi, revitalizing, your very essence, la etzamota, your body and bones, your backbone and 561 substance, addressing that which is essential to your very existence. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 3-8.
On four occasions during his invitations to be called out and meet, especially during the two most essential days, Matzah, unyeasted bread and Kippurim, reconciliations, as well as on Bikurim and Shabawa, Yahweh calls the Metzam, essential and substantive. The most vital of these Mikrei are healing and restorative, and most certainly life-sustaining. They are essential to our very existence. You should choose to value and honor, Kabedeth, you should show respect for and demonstrate that you appreciate the significance of, Peel imperative, Yahawa, Yahawa, the proper pronunciation of Yahowah, our Eloah, God as directed in his Torah, teaching regarding his Hayah, existence and our Shalom, restoration, out of your abundance Minhanota, from riches and wealth of great substance, from Hon, that which is readily available, easy to provide, and of little overall significance, and, Wa, from, Min. The first root, Rishith, the initial and beginning, of all, Sherl, your harvest, Tabuwa Otter, your produce, yield, and crop, singular. Marshall, word pictures, Proverb 3 to 9. There are three insights which can be gleaned from this statement. First, as our father, Yahweh would appreciate the respect the role deserves. And in this regard, Kabed is the operative word of the second instruction on the second tablet. It reads, choose to carefully consider, view as worthy, enormously valuable and significant, honoring, Kabed, accordingly, the symbolism of, Eth, your father, Abota, and, Wa, that which is represented by, Eth, your mother, Am, for the purpose of, Laman, lengthening and prolonging, Arak, your days, Yam, upon the, Al, earth, Odama, which, as a benefit of the relationship, Asher, Yahawa, Yahawa, your God, Elohim Otter, 562 has given to you, Nathan La Otter. Shemoth, Exodus 2012, therefore, by comparing these statements, we find Yahawa identifying the father and, therefore, also the mother whom we are encouraged to honor and respect. Second, God is not asking very much of us. Our contribution is out of our abundance and represents an otherwise insignificant portion of what we have been given, and in this context, it cannot be money. So, since the things Yahweh has offered to us in this marshal include an extension of life, love and mercy, and greater understanding, we would be wise to reciprocate. We can invest some of our remaining time as mortals serving God and His people, loving them enough to share the many insights we have gleaned from the Torah with them. Third, first roots is synonymous with Bikurim, the mikra following matzah where the attendees are adopted into Yahweh's covenant family. We should, therefore, offer our sons and daughters to Yah, promising to raise them so that they will choose Him. Relatively few of us are farmers, and fewer still are shepherds, rendering a literal interpretation of this concluding statement irrelevant for most. But when we view it from the perspective of firstborn children, we can more readily appreciate what God is requesting. In a non-agrarian society, this too is symbolic, not unlike the previous references to etching the tablets of our heart and being nourished through our umbilical cord. Then, wa, your barns and storehouses, asamota, your storage places for agricultural crops, will be filled, male, to overflowing, saba, to an overwhelming abundance and to complete and total satisfaction. And, wa, your wine press and vats, yekeb, reservoirs, will surge and burst forth, parrots, with new wine, thyrausch, with freshly pressed and recently fermented sweet wine, 563 from yarash, as an inheritance. Marshall, word pictures, proverb 310. Saba, which was translated as to overflowing, speaks of an abundance which is totally satisfying and of a fulfillment which is complete. I share this because Saba is related to Shaba, the oath and promise of seven, and the Shabbat. The seven invitations to be called out and meet represent our Heavenly Father's promise, his sworn oath, over the course of these seven days to make us immortal and perfect, adopting, enriching, and empowering his children. It is an oath he has and will continue to satisfy. Throughout this marshal, word pictures, our Heavenly Father has been speaking to Daud, his firstborn and beloved son, and also to every covenant member. My child, Ben Eni, my son, addressing Daud specifically and the covenant family generally, do not refuse or reject, Almas, do not avoid an association with or disdain, Yahawas, Yahawa, written as directed by his Torah, correction or discipline, Mongzar, admonition, teaching, and instruction, encouragement to be moral, and exhibit self-control. And do not show an aversion toward or dread, al -Khuz, do not fear or become overly distressed and grieved over, his rational discourse or refutations, Bartoketh Hugh, his thoughtful arguments and reasoning, his criticisms of the crimes which have been committed, or his proof statements, or even chiding, Marshall, word pictures 311, because, indeed, KY, for the benefit of the relationship, the one whom, F. Asher, Yahawah, Yahowah, loves, Ahab, has a close, friendly, familial, and affectionate relationship with.
both likes and desires, even cherishes, he reasons with, corrects, and convinces, ultimately demonstrating their validity, Yakark, he justifies by presenting a case on their 564 behalf, proving that they are right, acquitting them of all charges, vindicating them, in the manner of a father, Wakar Ab, with a son, Eth Ben, whom he enjoys, favors and values, Ratsa, whom he has selected, accepted, and delights in. Showing that he is pleased with him and even agrees with him. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 312. My preferred way to view Yahweh is as Dad, my beloved father. We are comfortable spending quality time together, sharing ideas, growing and exploring together. He is my friend and companion, my teacher and guide, my protector too. He is inspiring and uplifting, a joy to be around, enlightening and enriching. I have devoted my life to working for him, and he is clearly appreciative even though I gain far more than I could possibly contribute. I share this to say that I love these father and son chats which comprise the martial, proverbs. I feel right at home. Daud is my brother, Moe's my uncle, and Yisrael my family. I have been corrected many times, the last of which led to the complete retranslation and rewriting of the thirty books which comprise Yada Yahawa. And what a thrill it has been. So, I concur with this advice, we should embrace and accept, even encourage, Yahawa's corrections, such that his teaching is accurately reflected in our own. In addition, being disciplined is important, especially when translating and sharing the Word of God. And make no mistake, a degree of self-control has been needed to do this as long as we have worked together. Likewise, I have come to appreciate Yahweh's arguments and reasoning, even his criticisms and chiding. Because ultimately, what could be better than to have been chosen by God, to be loved by God, to be cherished by Dad? And what's particularly reassuring is that as much as I love Yah, enjoy his company, and value our relationship, he is pleased with me as his son. 565 This Marshall, word pictures from our Heavenly Father is so profoundly instructive and reassuring, I'd like to present it in its entirety and without interruption. My son, Ben Eni, do not ignore, overlook, or forget, ceasing to be mindful of, Al Shaker, my Torah, teaching and guidance, Torah Eni. And, Wa, maintain and observe, Nazar, my Mitzwah, the instructive conditions regarding what I am offering and expect in return, Mitzwah Eni, in your heart to influence your thinking and inclinations, Labotta. Marshall, Word Pictures 3 to 1. Indeed, KY, longer days, or Yaumim, and years of life, Washana Chaim, they will increase for you, Yazav Laata, in addition to, Wa, contentment and satisfaction, Shalam. Marshall, Word Pictures 3 to 2. Loyal love and genuine mercy, especially a steadfast devotion to the relationship, Kesed, in conjunction with, Wa, being honest, demonstrating integrity, and being reliable, Emeth, do not allow to depart from you, al Azabota. Choose to fasten them, Kashahem, upon your necks, al Gargroth Otter. Choose to inscribe them, Katabhem, upon the tablet, al Luvak, of your heart to influence your thinking and judgment, Lay Otter. Marshall, Word Pictures 3 to 3. Then, Wa, you will discover and obtain, Massa, mercy and acceptance, Chen, in addition to, Wa, good judgment, useful understanding, productive insights, and the capacity for intelligent thinking, Sekel Tob, in the eyes, Bar Ein, of Almighty God, Elohim, and mankind, Wa Adam. Marshall, Word Pictures 3 to 4. Choose to be confident in and trust, relying upon, Beta Chel, Yahawa, Yahawa, with all your heart and your every decision, Bar Shel Labotta. 566 and, Wa, do not lean, Al San, upon, El, your own understanding or discretion, Bina Otter. Marshall, Word Pictures 3 to 5. In, Wa, all, Shirl, your ways, Derek Otter, you should choose to know, genuinely acknowledge, and actually understand him, Yada Hugh. Then, he, Wa Hugh, himself, will consider your conduct to be right, or a Yashar Otter. Marshall, Word Pictures 3 to 6. You should not become, Al Haya, learned and wise, especially cunning, clever, and shrewd, Charkam, from your own perspective, Bar and Otter. Choose to actually respect, Yeah Eth, Yahawa, Yahawa. And therefore, why, you should choose to turn away from, so min, that which is improper, immoral, corrupting, and wrong, especially the annoying and disadvantageous advice of fellow countrymen, Ra. Marshall, Word Pictures 3 to 7. This will exist as, Haya, healing and restorative, Rifulth, serving as your umbilical cord, La Shor Otter, nourishing and refreshing, Wa Shikwi, your very essence, La Etzamotta. Marshall, Word Pictures 3-8. You should choose to value and honor, Kabedeth, Yahawa, Yahawa, 
out of your abundance, min Otter, and, wa, from, min, the first root, resheth of all, shirl, your harvest, tabuwa otter. Marshall, word pictures 3 to 9. Then, wa, your storehouses, asam otter, will be filled, male, to overflowing, saba. And, wa, your wine press and vats, yekeb, will surge and burst forth, parrots, with new wine, thyraush. Marshall, word pictures 310. My child, Ben Eni, do not refuse or reject, Almas, Yahawas, Yahawa, correction or discipline, 567 his teaching and instruction, or his encouragement to be moral and exhibit self-control, Mumzar. And do not show an aversion toward or be distressed over, al Quz, his rational discourse or refutations, his thoughtful arguments and reasoning, his criticisms of the crimes which have been committed, or his proof statements, even his chiding, Vartokekath Hugh, Marshall, word pictures 311, because, indeed, KY, for the benefit of the relationship, the one whom, Eth Asher, Yahawa, Yahowah, loves, Ahab, he reasons with, he corrects and convinces. Ultimately demonstrating his validity and proving that he is right, Yakak, in the manner of a father, Wakar Ab, with a son Eth Ben, whom he enjoys, favors and values, and whom he has selected, accepted, and delights in, showing that he is pleased with him and even agrees with him, Ratsa. Marshall, Word Pictures, Proverb 312.